everybody, what's up? What's going on? I wanted to do a review today. I really don't do a ton of reviews on my channel and I want that to change. Now that the new year has started, I want to do more reviews. So the first review that I'm going to do for this year is the CoverGirl um, So Lashy Mascara. I picked this up at Target and depending on where you get this mascara, it retails, I would say, from $8.99 to like $10.99. For me, that's a little pricey, to be completely honest. When I buy Maybelline mascaras, I get them for like $5.99, $6.99. $7.99 at the most. Um, the only other one that's expensive from the drugstore that I buy is L'Oreal's Telescopic, which I think also is like $8.99 or $9.99. Anyway, I got it for $8.99. It came in this box, um, which, you know, whatever. I don't really care for it, but I don't think it's like terrible either. Like, oh, look at this box. No. Woo! This is the bottle. I used to be so obsessed with the CoverGirl Lash Blast uh, Fusion. Lash Blast. Blah, blah. It's a tongue twister. Lash Blast Volume. Um, there was like a yellow one. I think it was like the length, the Lash Blast last length I don't really know but I used to be so obsessed with them and um, the packaging is pretty much the same um, the the cap is purple this is black I think that's really weird like they could have just made this all black and it would have been fine but then you open it up by the way the wand comes separately from the bottle in the box so then you have to put the wand in yourself but um, the wand <laughs> I'm just gonna get into it I feel like CoverGirl was like, okay, we need to come up with the craziest, most different wand in the whole entire world. Like, we need to come with come up with something that's just so different, which I totally respect. I get, I get it. They want to be innovative. They want to be different. But I feel like this is just too different and too crazy. Um, I'm not a fan of the wand at all. I feel like it's too big, and it's just. It's so weird. Like, I would really like this mascara if it was just a typical wand, just like that. The bristles are rubber. I like, um, like, the fibery bristles better, even though my favorite mascara, L'Oreal's Telescopic, has rubber bristles. Makes no sense. But I do prefer the, like, fibery ones. Um, this, this wand is just so crazy, and I have very small eyelids. I have very small eyes, so I tend to get this everywhere. I tried this mascara out for... What was it? I I bought this and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a review on this. I bought it and I used it straight for two weeks. I wore it to work straight for two weeks. I did not use any other mascara. So I feel like I have a good idea. Um, so that was the one. This is the packaging. I'm going to go on to the CoverGirl website and just share with you guys what they say. And actually on the box, it says here it's a lash finder, bold, sexy lashes for all lash types. Um, on the side it says sexy for all lash types, curly, sparse, or straight. On the back it says it's easy to remove with soap and water, suitable for contact lens wearers, apply with the brush side. It's pretty much it that it says on the packaging. Now on the website it says bold sexy lashes for all. Get the bold dark voluminous lashes you've dreamed of with CoverGirl So Lashy waterproof mascara. Our 3-in-1 brush shapes, molds, and builds lashes regardless of your lash type while the specialized ball tip gets the corners and hard to reach lash lashes. It's the perfect mascara for any occasion. Also available in original non-proof, non-waterproof uh, formula. I don't wear waterproof mascaras ever. I hate them. Um, so yeah, and it retails for $10.49 on the CoverGirl website. I feel like I covered all of like the facts. We went over the packaging. We went over what the box said, what um, CoverGirl says. Now it's on to my opinion. I'm gonna go over how I apply the mascara first. I know you're probably like, Katie, there's only like one way to apply mascara. What are you talking about? But because this mascara wand is just so crazy and big, um, I use mainly the ball to get in the inner and outer portions of my lashes. I will use the middle of the wand to just get right in the middle of my lashes, but that's pretty much it. And I typically just, I really wanna just use the ball the whole time because I don't wanna get mascara everywhere. I do typically get I do typically get mascara everywhere, but today I actually didn't. I was very very careful. Like I made sure to be very gentle and to not get it on my lids because I really like the way my eyeshadow turned out, so I don't want to mess it up. But that's how I apply it, and I t I don't I want to say I do about two coats today. I try to do like two thicker coats, but it did get a little bit clumpy in my inner portions, pretty much on this right hand side. Um, so it does clump up if you put too much on, which I feel like most mascaras do that. Like you can't, you don't find a mascara that you can put like 10 layers on and it's, your mascara still looks beautiful. Like that just doesn't happen. So it does clump up after a while. And I feel like this mascara gives a lot more volume than length. And I like length so much more than volume. I'd rather have 
very long lashes than like a million lashes. It is more of like a volume mascara, which I think is what it mentioned on the website. Yeah, voluminous lashes. So it's saying that it gives you volume, and it really does. I feel like my lashes do have a lot more volume than um, you know I typically do. Like it gives a lot more volume than my L'Oreal Telescopic, but it doesn't give as much length, which is fine because it doesn't say that it gives you a ton of length. Um, it gives me, it gives me some length though, which is good. Like it doesn't just give me nothing. It gives me some length and a lot of volume. And I feel like if you guys like a lot, a lot of volume, you might like this mascara. You might hate the wand, but you might like the formula. Um, that's kind of where I'm at here. This isn't a terrible mascara. I will probably keep using it. Will I repurchase it? I, I really don't think so. As far as like flaking or leaking goes, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. I wore this to work. I put it on at a about 6 30 in the morning and I take off my makeup probably at 7 o'clock at night and I I never had flakes of mascara anywhere I really didn't have any black on my lids I didn't have any black underneath my eyes I was very very impressed in that sense um, and it didn't leak at all like if I if my eyes were watery I didn't have anything end up on my face which is awesome um, which something else that I want to mention when I take this off it says here, um, easy to remove with soap and water. That's totally true. Like, it doesn't come off during the day, but when you take it off at night with, with like, a makeup wipe, I use a makeup wipe, it comes off really, really easily. And I go take a shower, wash my face, and I don't have black underneath my eyes. Sometimes I won't take off all my, you know, sometimes I won't take off all my mascara and I'll end up having, like, raccoon eyes when I come out of the shower. Nothing. Like, this comes off so easily. So this mascara does have some pros and cons. I'll just go over them really quickly. Pros, doesn't flake or leak, lasts all day. Um, it gives a ton of volume. On the other hand, the wand is just a little too big and a little too crazy for my liking. And um, I just wished it gave me a little bit more length. But I can't really... I can't really hold it against this mascara because it doesn't claim that it gives length. Another thing that I'll mention is that a lot of product ends up on the ball of the mascara wand. Um, that doesn't bother me too much because I literally just clean it off and then I'm good to go, but I feel like some people might say like a lot of product builds up on the wand. Um, I feel like a lot of product does build up. There's hollow little slots here. I feel like I mentioned that earlier. A lot of product kind of builds up in there because now I can't even see it. Before when you first get it you can see right through the mascara. Now it's just has a ton of product in it, which you can't really prevent, but, you know, cover girl, should you have put those hollow slots there in the first place? I don't really know. So I think that's pretty much it. I think I've covered all my bases. If I've forgotten any points, I will leave it down below. But um, overall, I do give it a thumbs up. Not two thumbs up thumbs up. Um, I just, it's not what I look for in a mascara and the wand is just a little bit too much for me. Like I, I respect CoverGirl's idea of just being very innovative and different. I do. I really, really do. I just think it's a little too different and a little too crazy. You know what I mean? They could have toned down the wand a little bit, but other than that, like I mentioned, if I forgot anything, look down below in the description box. If you have tried this mascara and you really like it or whatnot, let us know down below. I feel like if you love volume, you might really like this mascara. If you can get past the wand. I think you'll really like it. So that's all that I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope everybody has an awesome 2017. I will see you in my next video. Bye.